Hello guys, welcome to my channel again. My name is Eric and uh, this is Waste Capital FX. Today we are going to talk about how does the forex market operate? What is it that is involved for you to know how this market is done? In short, I've realized so many of my friends are getting started in this business and they do not really know what they are getting themselves into. And in fact, last week we got a request uh, and someone was request requesting that I address that topic on how this business really operates. So that is the main aim of this presentation. And I'm really hoping that uh, when I'm done with it, you should be able to understand what is it that you're getting yourself into. Please uh, subscribe to this channel, leave a comment below, like and share, and also hit the notification bell so that you get uh, updates whenever we post uh, a new content. But before we go deeper, it's important I take you through the disclaimer so that you know at least uh, what you're getting yourself into. Trading the financial markets on margin carries a high level of risk. This is not suitable to all investors or traders. And past performance, our past results, our past trades, is not a guarantee that in future our trades will work. The high degree of leverage can work for you and it can work against you as well. And always remember that your capital is at risk and you should uh, seek financial advice, seek professional advice before you place a position in the financial markets. Please follow us on Facebook and uh, follow us in our WhatsApp group. The link is in the description below. You can also write to us on email through wisecapitalinvestment at gmail.com and we'll be there to help you. Today we'll discuss a number of things. First, we will learn how to make money in the forex market what is it that is involved when you place a buy or a sell order you must have known by now that you can be able to make money in this business by going long or going short number two we look at the advantages and disadvantages of the forex market number three we look at how you can get started in this business and finally number four we look at the realities of this business we clear out the misconception and give you the real thing so that you know really how this business is done and the facts and everything will be exposed as soon as we are done with this presentation. Please leave a comment below, ask questions, let me know so that uh, I would prepare something with regards to any topic that you might be interested in knowing. So how does one make money trading the forex market? Well, it boils down to two simple things. To buy when you expect price to increase and to sell when you expect price to drop. You must have seen so many advertisements that talks about this that it is as simple as predicting where the price will move next. Yes, it is that simple. You simply need to identify where price will move and then you place your buy or your sell order. So the way I like to address this is to compare it to any other business. So suppose you are dealing with a particular product. Let's assume you sell mobile phones. You must have a supplier who will supply you uh, at a cheaper price and then you'll sell it at an expensive price therefore you'll make a profit you subtract your selling price minus your buying price and you make a profit so in a few minutes from now we will jump into a chart and we'll try to make a sense of how really that takes place so i'll show you like this is where you can easily place your buy order and you wait for price to increase and as a result of that you'll be making profit as price increases then when you close the order it will be automatically like you're selling the the pair again and uh, you you'll make your profit from that now in this business we don't deal with mobile phones we deal with currency pairs so your product in this case will be currency pairs we compare one currency to another for example euro usd uh, in euro usd we compare the europe economy against the us economy so when you believe that euro is performing better than the us what you want to do you want to buy euros and then you wait for it because if a country is performing better than another there'll be an increase in uh, in price there'll be an increase in the currency's value so euro will tend to increase because it's performing better than the us and as a result of that increase you'll be able to make profit as price goes up Every day, if you go to the local banks, you'll um, see the currency exchange rate, uh, one dollar compared to Kenyan shilling. So today you might be told, usually it's one to one hundred bob. So today you'll be told like today it's one to one dollar is equal to 
100 Kenyan shillings. And tomorrow you might be told that $1 is equal to 90 Kenyan shillings. So there's always that fluctuation in currency value. So your duty as a trader is to anticipate that change and then you take advantage of it. The thing you should do is to place your order at an accurate place or uh, at the right place. So the most important thing you consider is to sell high and to buy low. When you look at this chart, we have levels that are high and you see the point of return sell high immediately, immediately price drops and the point of sale buy low uh, price tends to increase. So when you do that, you'll be able to, to make your profit. Uh, again, in, an, in a simple view, we are trying to predict what the price will do. What will this currency pair will do? In this example, this is the chart of Euro USD and it compares the Europe economy to the US economy. So if you believe that uh, Euro is performing well, you want to buy it. If you believe that Euro is performing poorly, you want to sell it. Again, for you to come up to this conclusion of when to sell or when to buy, you need to have a skill. You need to master technical analysis skill. It's a skill that you develop over time as you continue interacting with this business. This business has a number of advantages. I'm going to mention some of them. You can as well go ahead and research on others uh, so that uh, you, you get to know uh, the benefits that you'll enjoy. So the first one is the low startup cost. You don't need a lot of money to get started in the Forex market. With as little as $10, you can be able to place a buy or a sell order. Then the second one, the market operates 24 hours, 5 days each week. The market is open uh, Sunday midnight and it closes uh, on Friday midnight. So throughout the days and throughout these days, you can be able to, to place a position and you can be able to create money for yourself. Then availability of wide source of information. Now these days the internet... Uh, has enabled us to get wide varieties of information. So with that, you can be able to Google, you can be able to do your research and come up with a logic conclusion before you, you place your order. Then we have a wide variety of products to deal with. I told you in this business, the product that we deal with is currencies. So you can uh, compare one currency to another. There are literally so many countries in this world and you can compare each of those currencies and you can be able to trade them. We have the major currency, minor currencies, and the exotic currencies, and there are around 50 of them. You can never lack a trading opportunity across all these 50 pairs. Then you can work from anywhere since it's an online business. All you need is an internet connection, and you can even do it from your phone, and as simple as that, then uh, uh, you'll be able to make your profit. Of course, everything that has advantages has also disadvantages, so we're going to look at the disadvantages so that uh, uh, you know really what is this business. And these disadvantages are what you'll not hear so many people talk about, but it's important we go through them. We have a couple of uh, disadvantages. So the first one is that uh, it's not as simple as it looks. There's a lot that is involved for you to say that you've become a trader. First, you need to know when to buy or when to sell. And for you to come up to this conclusion, you need to consume tons and tons of information, tons and tons of books, and uh, so that you'll be able to master the technical analysis skills. And even after that, you'll still need to learn about risk and money management. Once you find the good setups, how, do you, how much do you risk on each and every particular setup? And then after that, you come to a conclusion that you need to learn also about psychology. How do you remain uh, calm and peaceful in the face of uncertainty? Because nobody knows what the market will do next. And uh, uh, for anybody who has uh, at least tried this for um, a month or so, he'll understand, he or she will understand that this is, is something that requires another level of preparation. Then the second one, uh, we have unregulated brokers. These brokers, they usually tend to take advantage of people. They can uh, not give you your profits. They may refuse to uh, give you back your, your capital, the one that you deposited in order to trade. Uh, so make sure you do your research on your broker before you, 
you you trade with them then finally we have a lot of scammer there are a lot of people who want to take advantage of you if you've never known you just uh try and avoid them i don't know how you will do that but uh with you interacting with people who have been in this business for a while uh you tend to avoid them again uh the link to my whatsapp group is in the description below just tap on it and then we will be we'll meet on the other side we can talk about anything if you have any uh, hard question don't hesitate to ask i will try and explain it to you so that you avoid these troubles so that you avoid making mistakes that are uh, I did when I was starting uh, my career as a trader. For you to get started, first you need to select a broker. We have a wide range of them. You need to choose one of them according to like uh, how much capital you need, how many instruments they do have on board, their um, customer care uh, services. You need to read all that before you, you select a, a broker. Later on, I'll prepare another slide on uh, factors to consider when you when you choose a broker and then after that you need to open an account with them there are various types of an account we have an account to minimize on your risk we have accounts to hedge we have a standard account micro account etc you choose one of them then you open an account it's very simple you don't pay for anything again i i get so many people requesting me do you pay anything to to open an account the answer is absolutely you pay nothing so once you've opened an account the next thing you go ahead and do is to learn their trading platform. Uh, most brokers support two trading platforms. We have the MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. Uh, in short, MT4 or MT5. So you'll choose one, then you will learn the platform. A mistake many of us do is they come to this business. They don't even understand how to place a buy or a sell order. They don't understand where to place their stop loss or their take profit. In fact, they really don't even know if we have things like stop loss or take profit so first take your time to learn this platform and learn where how how to place your buy learn how to customize your chart learn literally everything about this platform it will be very sad for you to place a buy and then you come and ask okay what do i do next where do i put my stop loss where do i put my take profit then uh once you're convinced that you are ready uh to to trade with live money and then go ahead and deposit your capital of course in every business before you start you must have some startup capital so go ahead and deposit your capital then from there start your trading activities then generate profits or losses for that case sad reality of this business again this is a topic that many of you would not like to hear about but i will explain it first this is not a get rich quick scheme uh you might have heard somewhere that oh i trade forex and i make a lot a lot of money within a day yes that could be true but it requires it it will not happen uh just instantaneously if you are getting started in this business you will not get rich with your first trade you will not it will take you time so do not come here with high expectation that oh i must make a killing within a day i must make a killing within a week uh it will not work uh get it straight for me then number two, it requires a lot of practice. It requires a lot and a lot of practice. You need to wake up early every single day for the next one year or so, uh, trying to practice your craft, trying to master this skill, and then you'll be able. So do not go get some training within a week and then you think you're ready. And that's why in my mentorship program, we offer lifetime mentorship. It's not a thing that i will teach you within a month or so and then i expect you to be ready no it will not work like that you require somebody to hold your hands somebody to guide you through everything somebody to teach you somebody to show you okay this is you did wrong this you did correctly and that is what i offer uh, in my service then it will take time the fact even if you place a trade right now it will not work like immediately it will require some time usually if you are trading with smaller time frame something like 30 minutes uh, it may take a whooping 24 hours before the trade work. Now, this is trying to remove you from the gambling mentality that most of us are used to. If you are in sport betting, you know, like in a football match, uh, it will take a specific time. I don't know, it's around 60 or 90 minutes. So after that time, you'll know that uh, you'll have made money or you'll, you will not have made money. So many of us come with that mentality that I want to gamble my way to financial freedom. 
uh, with the forex market so when you place a no buy order you will find that it will not work immediately price moves in a fashion like two steps ahead one step behind so yes it is moving towards your target but it will take time it requires patience and you need to wait and then finally you cannot avoid a loss tell me of any business that records profits every now and then every every year they simply record profits the answer is none. There is none. So your duty as a, a businessman or a businesswoman is to minimize on your losses and to maximize on your profit. We also do that uh, in trading because this, this is a business. You approach this as a business activity and then it will pay you as a business. You approach it as a gambling uh, business and then it will play you like a, it will uh, pay you like a gambling business. So your duty as a trader is to minimize on your losses and to maximize on your profit. There's a way we do that also. So if you have any query, kindly leave a comment below so that uh, I can be able to answer it. And for those who want to learn how to trade the financial markets, please uh, write to me an email or join my WhatsApp group. And then you'll be, you'll be able to communicate with me then I'll be able to provide you with my service. Remember, it's a lifetime mentorship program. Uh, once uh, you join me, uh, there's no living. I'll mentor you until the day you, 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 you get ready. Uh, we only, you only break this contract once you feel that uh, you're good on your own. With that, we come to the end of today's session. I really hope you've enjoyed and I hope you've learned something. Please subscribe uh, to this channel so that you get updates and also like and share to your friends. Till next time, goodbye for now.